What happened to Catherine of Aragon after her marriage to King Henry VIII was annulled? Despite a long and largely positive marriage, um, they had produced no surviving male heirs. In around 1525, Henry VIII began to fall in love with Anne Boleyn, and it soon became Henry's obsession to marry Anne Boleyn, and so to do this, he had to divorce his wife. The seeking of this annulment became known as the King's Great Matter, and it took many, many years to come to fruition. Henry tried to force a Catherine of Aragon to go into a nunnery, but she defiantly said that God never called me to a nunnery. I am the King's true and legitimate wife. Henry, though, tried to say that because Catherine of Aragon had been previously married to his brother and that it had been consummated, that meant that he was not able to marry his brother's wife. Catherine, of course, denied ever consummating the marriage and continually said that she was the legitimate queen and legitimate wife of Henry, which she was, of course. In, in anyone's eyes, she was the true queen and she stuck to her guns right to the end. Regardless, in January of 1533, Henry and Anne Boleyn were married. A year later, the Act of Succession was passed, in which it was said that um, Princess Elizabeth was now the true heir to the throne, and that Mary was a bastard. Mary was the daughter of Henry and Catherine. It was also declared that it was now a treasonable offence to say that Queen Catherine was a queen. She was instead to be referred as the Dowager Princess of Wales, meaning the widow of the Prince of Wales, which Arthur had been her first husband. Catherine was effectively banished and exiled during this time. She was forced to live in country houses that were in worse and worse condition. And this was all to try and make her sign this act of succession and, and agree that her marriage had been unlawful. On top of this, Henry banned um, Catherine and her daughter Mary from um, seeing each other and also from writing to each other. This again was designed to put pressure on the pair of them to accept King Henry VIII's marriage to Anne Boleyn. Catherine remained strong throughout, although her health was deteriorating at a rapid pace. Catherine's end is just so tragic. She had been a faithful and loyal wife and a good queen, and she was greatly missed by the British public. Catherine of Aragon died aged only 50 of cancer in 1536. She was buried in Peterborough Cathedral and even to this day people lay pomegranates down which was a symbol of her coat of arms.